In this video, we're going to be performing a deep dive on Federal Realty's dividend safety. To begin, let's talk about Federal Realty's business model. Federal Realty is one of the larger real estate investment trusts in the United States. The trust was founded in 1962 and concentrates in high-income, densely populated coastal markets in the U.S., allowing it to charge more per square foot than its competition. Federal Realty trades with a market capitalization of $10 billion today on $950 million of annual revenue. Federal Realty is a well-known dividend stock because of its compelling track record of dividend growth. With 51 years of consecutive dividend increases, Federal Realty is a member of the Dividend Aristocrats Index, a group of elite dividend stocks with more than 25 years of dividend increases. In fact, Federal Realty satisfies the requirement to be a dividend aristocrat more than twice over. With more than five decades of dividend increases, Federal Realty is not just a dividend aristocrat but also a dividend king, an even more exclusive group of dividend stocks with 50 plus years of dividend increases. Looking ahead, investors cannot rely on Federal Realty's dividend history alone to measure its dividend safety. For the remainder of this video, we will discuss the company's current dividend safety from four perspectives. Its dividend safety in the context of its current earnings, its dividend safety in the context of its current free cash flow, its dividend safety in the context of its recession performance, and its dividend safety in the context of its current debt load. First, let's discuss Federal Realty's dividend safety in the context of the company's current earnings. Note that for REITs, it's better to use funds from operations rather than gap earnings, which is the convention we'll follow throughout this video. When Federal Realty announced its fourth quarter financial results on February 13th, the trust reported that it generated funds from operations per share of $1.57 in the three-month reporting period. For context, the real estate company currently pays a quarterly dividend of $1.02 per share for a payout ratio of 65% in the most recent quarter. Looking out over a longer time horizon, our conclusion is the same. Federal Realty generated funds from operations per share of $6.23 in fiscal 2018 and paid out $4.06 of per share dividends during the same time period for a payout ratio of 65%. Using funds from operations, Federal Realty's dividend appears very safe for the foreseeable future. Many analysts believe that comparing a company's dividend payments to its free cash flow is a better method for assessing dividend safety. With that in mind, we will now compare Federal Realty's current dividend payments to its free cash flow. In fiscal 2019, Federal Realty generated $517 million of cash flow from operating activities and spent $382 million on capital expenditures for free cash flow of $135 million. The trust distributed $302 million of common share dividends during the same time period for a free cash flow dividend payer ratio above 200%. In fiscal 2017, the situation was even worse. In that year, Federal Realty generated $459 million of cash flow from operating activities and spent $957 million on capital expenditures, which actually implies negative free cash flow. In other words, Federal Realty has been unable to cover its dividend with free cash flow in both of the last two fiscal years. Investors should monitor this trend closely, particularly if they are relying on the trust's dividend to generate passive income through retirement. Companies do not cut their dividends in the good times. Instead, dividends are reduced when companies experience financial difficulties. With that in mind, this section will analyze Federal Realty's current dividend safety in the context of the company's historical recession performance. We believe that the best way to measure a company's recession resiliency is by assessing its earnings per share performance during the financial crisis that occurred between 2007 and 2009. Federal Realty's performance during this time period is shown here. Remarkably, Federal Realty was actually able to increase its funds from operations through the financial crisis of 2007 to 2009. With that in mind, we don't have any concerns about the company's ability to pay its dividend during future economic downturns. The last angle that we will use to assess Federal Realty's current dividend safety is by looking at the company's current debt level. More specifically, we will see how much the company's weighted average interest rate will need to increase before its funds from operations will no longer cover its dividend payment. At the end of fiscal 2018, Federal Realty had $3.2 billion of total debt outstanding and generated $110.2 million of interest expense for a weighted average interest rate of 3.4%. The following image shows how changes to Federal Realty's weighted average interest rate would impact the company's dividend safety as measured by free cash flow. As the image shows, Federal Realty's weighted average interest rate would need to rise to about the 8.5% level before its dividend would no longer be covered by funds from operations. While this is lower than many other dividend stocks that we have performed similar stress tests on, it is still a very high absolute level. Overall, we believe that the company's debt level is unlikely to impact the safety of its dividend moving forward. Thank you for watching today's video which performed a deep dive on Federal Realty's current dividend safety. We invite you to subscribe to this channel and like this video, which will help more people discover sure dividends investor education efforts. 
If you are interested in learning more about our systematic approach to dividend growth investing, visit our website at www.suredividend.com.